Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to clean the copper shifter in order for your high bed battery to have a better connection to your car. I'm using the plastic stick to take off the black cover. This high bed battery is a high voltage. If you don't know the electronical, so don't do it. This black plastic cover is very easy to take it off. After you take off the black cover, so you can see all those bolts, and then you can see the carpet shift is rushed. You have to really be careful. First, I'm going to take off the positive and the negative for this uh, the black little box that's uh, connected to the whole batteries. Okay, I'm going to very be careful to take it off because it is a very easy to break batteries. You have to very be careful because this battery is a high voltage. So after you take off those bolts, you have to very be careful. It's very hard to find ones, match it and get them back. Yeah, after I take off this bolt, now you can see all those uh, copper shafts, there's a rush, it's very dirty. I'm gonna take off this. It's very be careful. Yeah, I'm gonna take off it, and then I'm take out the copper shift from this, uh, the red thing. You can see the autos a copper shift is rust is dirty. So they have the clips in there. So you have to push down the clip and then push out the copper shifts. So that's a very easy. Be careful. You can see it's very dirty. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. That side is very be careful because they have a very thin wires in there. So when you take out the couple shifts here, is you have to be careful because there's a very easy to broken there's a wire. So be careful. They both sides they have a there's a have a clips in there too. So you have to push down the clips same like the other side and then take out the top one and then push out the cover shift. It's very easy. But you have to very carefully. Today is very hot. You can see the sun shine. It's very hot. 90 degree, I'm sweating. But I'm gonna do this, help me to save a couple thousand dollars. So I have to do it. So you can see the other rust is dirty. I put all those uh, cover ships in a metal boat.
So I'm going to take those dirty things off. I'm put some boiled waters on there. And then lay it up. And then boil the water. And then put some sea salt, a little bit of the salt. And then put a white vinegar, like half cup. You can see it, so they will be changed the color. See? This has changed the colors. Almost green, you see? The rasa right away is gone. You can do this for the other cuppers too. So it's done now. So I'm going to take it out from the hot water. It's very hot. Don't use your hand to touch it. They will be burn your hand. See, it's all clean. Look at that. So I'm come, going to get some cold water to clean it up because they have a vinegar and a salsa on uh, with that. So I use a cold water to clean it. After that, and I use the towel to dry it and put it back on. But there's another hundred percent to fix your hybrid battery. You clean this a cover shift rust. This a, will be hundred percent to make your hybrid batteries better connection to your car. It's the same like when you take it out, it's very easy to put it back on. Even easy to put it back on, but you still have to very be careful those are wire. It's very, very easy to break. If you first time to doing this, so you can do it slowly, slowly. You don't need to hurry because it does a high voltage battery. Make sure all those are copper shift is dry. Do not have any water or make wet. When you put this bolts back on, be careful. Now, I almost finished on this side. So I'm going to do the other side. This side is the same thing. It's very easy to put it back on. So that's uh, the last part, the positive and the negative. So now you can see it's much cleaner than before we take it off.
Now I'm going to put the black covers back on for both sides. Halfway to make your hybrid batteries a better connection to your car to help you save a lot of the money. Thank you for watching.